Hello and welcome back. So let's add uh, edit and delete to the profile page. So let me close everything I have here. Let's go to our views and look at the profile view. So this is the profile view. And this is the section where we have the, the user first name and last name. So right here, I just want to add some buttons okay so button here this one is edit and this one is delete okay so this one is uh, edit profile maybe it's better to add those let's see how they look okay so we have edit and we have delete if I add profile, maybe that would be more meaningful. Let's add some classes. So class of button, obviously. Button small and just button and also button. Um, let's try button danger on delete and button hmm, success, maybe. Maybe warning. Let's see. Yeah. No, maybe that's too much. Okay, so we have edit, we have delete. Here you can put the info instead if you want. Let's see. Yeah, maybe uh, that's fine for you. It's entirely up to you which one you want to use. Okay, so now that we have that, I just want to put them in the center. So I'm just going to say MX Auto. Let's see here if this is going to work. It isn't working. Mm. Uh, let's see. If I say display inline block. Let's see how that works. Doesn't work at all. Okay, so let me remove all this here. What I'll do instead is add a div right about here, and then I'll add a class of text center to center whatever text is in here, but it will center anything that has a display of inline block. So save this. Let's see. Okay, there we go. So edit profile, delete profile. That worked fine. Now, we need to have privileges to these so that not everyone can see them, of course. Let me add a break tag as well. Now, let's check out what we have for Oath here. And we have one of these. So the one who created it should have access to it, right? So I'm going to copy that. And I'll just put the whole thing here and then close the end if copy, paste it right here. Okay, so if the person who owns the content or I don't know whether it's just lecturer or reception here that you want to be able to edit these things, uh, that's entirely up to you. You can give those privileges as you wish. So now we have edit and delete. Maybe let me remove the profile text. Let's see how that looks. Eh, I don't know. It's up to you. Now let's add links to these guys so that they actually go somewhere. So I'm going to copy what paths we have here already. So I will get this href from here up to there, like so. Come up here and let me add one here. So a link like this shouldn't have copied the href, but let me select the whole href paste there. And then let me close this tag here. Push that inward. Now, I need to know the link I'm sending this to. So it's the profile, profile, of course. 
uh, that's a profile controller. But before we show the user ID here, and we don't need this tab thingy here, what we need is to know that we are editing. So just type edit here like so. So we don't have this link yet. We don't because we don't have this uh, function, but we will have it. So I'm just going to copy this as well and do the same thing here. Only change that one to delete like so. And then push this in and uh, put the A tag at the end as well. Okay, so we have now edit and delete. So refresh, if I now click on edit, that profile was not found, delete, that profile was not found. But that's all good, at least we have the preparation for it. And um, to make sure it works like the edit here, all we have to do is add it to the controller, that's the profile controller, so I'll go to profile.php, same way we have this function uh, index and most of this will be the same so let me copy all of this we don't need the page tabs and the like just up to we don't even need these crumbs here let's just uh, go to here up to there that should be good enough so I'll copy that come down here create that new function and I'll call this one edit like this and then I want this last part that shows um, privileges and stuff so right here paste like so and then I'll close that function so access denied if you're not part of the reception uh, you can't view this or you don't own the content you can't view it so instead of profile here, we're going to have a different view to show up. And this one is going to be profile and uh, hyphen edit like so. Okay. And we haven't defined data here. So what am I going to do? What am I going to do? We do need this data row that is important. So let me just add that here like so. Okay, cool. Now we don't have this profile edit yet. So I'm just going to copy the profile page itself and um, copy all of this. Just create a new file in view, paste that data, save. And instead of just profile.view, this is going to be profile-edit.view.php and save that. Okay. So now if I refresh, this is what I get. So crumbs is undefined on line five. Let's see, where is line five? So we don't need these breadcrumbs. Let's just remove them for there, but you can add them if you need them, no problem. Instead, we'll want to add an H, maybe H, I don't know, H4, and say uh, edit profile. That way we know what we are doing here. So refresh, and there it is, edit profile. Maybe we may want to center it a little bit. And let me put that here, like that, and refresh, edit profile. Okay, cool. So let's uh, fix everything else in the next video.